Now here's a video that I should have made a long time ago on this channel because I'm going to show you a video where this person who has made this video has a very clear misconception that arises out of a misunderstanding of what is the difference between a scientific theory and what comes out of a religious scripture or a prediction someone like Nostradamus has made. So this is something someone has said about a religious scripture. Let's watch what he said. Numerous cosmological concepts are present in ancient Hindu texts as are the notions of moments of heavenly bodies and the course of the year. In ancient Hindu texts, there's a concept of Aditi. It is referred to as the infinite light, the origin of divine powers and the vast cosmic intelligence in which knowledge and force exist. It is the past and the future and is mentioned more than 250 times in Rig Veda. As Aditi, she is an unbound free soul just like the light out of the Big Bang, just like the ever-expanding universe. The new James Webb telescope has presented numerous different images of the most distant galaxies in our observable universe. The telescope can help us see what happened right after the Big Bang. It can help us time travel. Maybe, just maybe, we can see Aditi and prove yet another Vedic concept of infinity using this telescope. Thank you. Maybe, just maybe, before we get ahead of ourselves, let's understand what's the difference. So now, what's a scientific theory? Take Einstein's relativity. It talks about the nature of space and time. It talks about the edge of the universe, about the beginning of time, about the inside of the black hole. Take a religious scripture. It talks about the nature of the world, about uh, where we live, about time and space and souls and whatever he said right now. What is the difference? Both make predictions. So aren't they equivalent? The James Webb makes observations. Don't they, you know, uh, using those observations, can't you see what predictions are right and what is wrong? Aren't they basically equivalent? Here's the difference. A scientific theory makes very specific predictions. A religious scripture makes very vague predictions. A scientific theory is so specific that if it says this one thing will be observed and if something else is observed, then this is proved wrong. It's falsified. In a religious scripture, it's so vague that no matter what is observed, it can never be proved wrong. It's always only proved right because no matter what is observed, it's always interpreted in such a way that what is observed is, is matching with what has been said in the scripture. For example, here he said, hey, this concept of um, Aditi is something about the infinity of the infinite soul, the unbound soul talks about, you know, the ever expanding universe and the distant uh, edge of the universe, the galaxies and what what not. And that's what the James Webb has observed. That's what he said, right? So that's the thing. These religious scriptures and these predictions are unfalsifiable. Whereas scientific theories, the most basic thing is that they are falsifiable. This misconception is a misunderstanding of falsifiability. When something is scientific, it has to be falsifiable. You can only expand your knowledge if you make predictions that are falsifiable. Because only when you observe things and they don't match your predictions, can you say, hey, the predictions were right or wrong. Because if you can only say they are right, then it's not a prediction at all, right? I'll give you an example that is more easier to digest. Say you make a prediction that uh, 2 plus 2 is 4. And someone else makes a prediction that, uh, hey, the sum of two numbers is another number. Now, which prediction do you think is more specific? The first prediction, right? Say in future you make some calculations and you discover that 2 plus 2 is actually 5. You prove the first prediction wrong, but the, f the second guy, you actually, you can actually never prove wrong with an observation like that, right? You are currently with this James Webb telescope only making observations that can prove right or wrong the first guy. You can never say anything about the second guy, right? That's the nature of religious predictions. I hope I made sense. Uh, let me know in the comments. 
if what I said made sense. I hope I did because this was a bit of a rant. So basically what I'm saying is that religious predictions are basically unfalsifiable and that's what makes them unscientific. Scientific theories are all falsifiable. Observations of predictions make no sense when they're unfalsifiable. I'll see you in the next one.